வெல்கம் டு கலி கிளாஸ் ரூம் திஸ் இஸ் த தேர்ட் லெக்சர் இன் த டாபிக் மேனுபேக்சரிங் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த தேர்ட் லெக்சர் இன் சிபிஎஸ்இ டென்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஜியாகிரபி சாப்டர் சிக்ஸ் இந்த சாப்டர் மேனுபேக்சரிங் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அவர் தேர்ட் லெக்சர் சார் வாட் ஆர் வி கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி இன் திஸ் லெக்சர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி அபவுட் ஜூட் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி வை இஸ் ஜூட் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி கான்சென்ட்ரேட்டட் இன் த ஹூக்லி பேஸ் இன் வெஸ்ட் பெங்கால் what is the government's formulation what is the government's indian government's policy in order to promote and improve jute industry in the competitive international market that will be the focus with respect to jute industry what about sugar industry sir we will study about why is sugar industry concentrated in the southern and western parts of india especially maharashtra also we will study about the challenges that are facing sugar industry we will study about the challenges that are facing the sugar industry can we start the class yeah let us start with agro based industries jute industry india is the largest producer of raw jute and jute goods in fact india holds the second place as the exporter after bangladesh india holds the second place has an exporter after bangladesh most of the jute mills around 80 jute mills in fact more than 80 jute mills are located in west bengal along the hugli river basin sir why are so many jute mills present in west bengal hugli river basin okay let us look at the reasons the first thing is proximity of jute producing areas around the hugli basin a lot of farmers are growing jute inexpensive water transport so the hugli river itself is used for transporting jute also with in addition to the inexpensive water transport we have a very good network of railways roadways and waterways which are supporting this inexpensive water transport in order to transfer jute from the producing region from the fields to the industries where you are going to manufacture jute products once you have finished producing the jute jute products the same roadways railways and water transport are being used to transport them for sales and distribution for sales and distribution okay there is an abundant water supply in the hugli river for the processing of raw jute raw jute needs a lot lot of water for processing raw jute needs a lot of water for processing and that is in fact supplied by the hugli river sir where is the labor that is needed for the jute industry is coming from the labor is coming from west bengal bihar odisha and up where we are getting very very cheap labor where we are getting very very cheap labor okay in addition to all these points kolkata which is obviously present in west bengal is a large urban center and it is providing banking insurance and other port facilities for jute to goods export obviously you need a port in order to export jute goods and that is provided by kolkata and because of these reasons jute industry is located heavily in west bengal okay sir uh, can we do a very fast recollection proximity of jute producing areas inexpensive water transport a good network of railways roadways waterways and abundant water that is needed for processing raw jute and cheap labor from west bengal bihar odisha and uttar pradesh and in addition to all these points kolkata is an urban center which is providing banking insurance and port facilities for the export of jute goods for the export of jute goods okay sir we are facing very stiff competition while exporting jute in the international market what are the uh, competitors doing the competitors okay who are the competitors who are the competitors the competitors are synthetic substitutes jute is getting heavy competition from synthetic sub- substitute and also other countries such as bangladesh brazil philippines egypt and thailand are also producing a lot of jute and competing with india in the international markets so what is our government doing in order to enhance the jute production in india indian government in the year 2005 introduced national jute policy which was focused on increasing the productivity of jute 
also enhancing the quality of jute we are not going to just increase the production we are also going to increase the quality of the jute okay and the indian government wanted to ensure good prices to the jute farmers so that they will feel comfortable growing jute then there should be an increase in yield per hectare of the jute crop the focus of national jute policy was they wanted to increase productivity improve the quality ensure good prices to the jute farmers and also increase the per hectare yield of jute they also wanted to increase the per hectare uh, production value per hectare yield of jute okay sir uh, what else is government doing sir the government is introducing a mandatory policy of jute packaging for all food grains jute packaging of all food grains if you go to a wholesale shop they will be having food grains in uh, jute packages they will be having food grains in jute packages so mandatory use of jute packaging that was introduced by the government policy has increased internal demand of jute inside india itself we are consuming a lot of jute inside india itself we are consuming a lot of jute sir what are the countries we are exporting jute to we are exporting jute to usa uk australia canada russia and jute is a environmental friendly alternative so nowadays people are encouraging to use jute in packaging rather than synthetic materials that is not biodegradable yeah okay let us go for sugar industry in india sugar we are producing a lot of sugar india is in fact the world's second largest producer of sugar but we are the first largest producer of gar and khansari sir what is gar uh, gar is a type of sweet in fact it, in tamil it is called as bellam in tamil it is called as mandavellam or vellam uh, it will be yellow in color uh, and it is used as a sweetener it is used as a sweetener so what is kansari kansari is unrefined sugar the white sugar that is usually used in homes the white sugar that is used usually used in homes is a refined sugar you are bleaching sugar to get the pure white color kansari will be slightly brownish in color it will contain lot of nutrients uh, it will not be refined so it will be slightly rough it will be slightly rough and irregular in shape but it is full of nutrients and good for you uh, in some places kansari is also called as brown sugar yeah okay the sugar industry is extremely seasonal in nature and so it is suitable for cooperative sector we have already seen about cooperative sector in the unit money and credit in the chapter money and credit so in co cooperative sector is more suitable for this particular industry because it is essentially seasonal in nature why is sugar industry seasonal in nature you are going to produce sugar only when you get sugar cane so the harvesting period of sugar cane is limited am i right or no so in that period only you will be able to crush sugar cane get its juice and convert it process it into sugar get sugar cane get its juice convert it and process it into sugar convert and process it into refined sugar in recent years sugar industry is slowly shifting and concentrating in southern and western parts especially maharashtra southern and western parts of india especially maharashtra why is this happening sucrose content in these areas of the sugar cane growing in these areas they have higher sucrose content let me repeat myself the sugar cane growing in these areas have a higher sucrose content also they have cooler climates that ensure longer crushing season because their climate maharashtra has a cooler climate they can crush sugar cane for a longer time get its juice and process it into sugar cooperatives are more successful in these states hence the why are cooperatives essential for sugar industry sugar is a seasonal industry you will be getting sugar only during the crushing season so the sugar industry will not be able to give you work for the entire year the only way sugar industry can 
function is through cooperatives not just the only way it is a profitable way a profitable way in which the sugar industry can function is through cooperatives so these are the three primary reasons why sugar industry is slowly sugar mills are slowly shifting to southern and western states especially maharashtra sugar cane produced here has higher sucrose content the cooler climate is ensuring longer crushing season and cooperatives are more successful in the southern states uh, okay what are the major challenges facing sugar industry obviously it is a seasonal industry and that is a major challenge because the people working will not have work all throughout the year we are using old and inefficient methods of production we need to get modern technologies to produce sugar there is a transport delay in reaching sugar cane to factories and this is causing loss in uh, the product quality how sir can the raw material for sugar cane is bulky so the haulage sir what is the raw material for sugar industry ashu you are killing me the raw material for sugar industry is obviously sugar cane and it is bulky haulage reduces its sugar content when you are taking sugar and taking it to some other place what is happening automatically while transporting sugar cane its sugar content reduces so transport delay uh, reduces the quality of the sugar cane we need to maximize the use of bagasse what is bagasse bagasse means what the wastage which is left after crushing of sugar cane the rough thread like material which is left after the crushing of sugar cane is called as bagasse we need to find new methods and new applications for bagasse we need to maximize the use of bagasse yeah in how are you going to study this particular topic you need to give importance to why are jute industries concentrated on hooghly river basin that's an important five star question uh, what are the steps taken by the indian government in order to improve uh, jute production in india you need to write about 2005's national jute policy that is a three star question what about sugar industry in why is sugar industry concentrated in sugar mills concentrated in maharashtra that is also a five star question or it can be even categorized as a four star question concentrate on these questions and study this particular lecture thank you for listening to this lecture hope you guys enjoyed this lecture yeah cheers and thank you recommend our channel to your friends if you like this lecture obviously hit the bell icon subscribe to us uh, and also hit the like button hit the like button yeah cheers and thank you dangam cheers and thank you let us meet in the next lecture thank you thank you thank you thank you